My pickaxe is missing. Yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, I can see the red obelisk too, which is nice. Yeah, you can see the red ob in the distance, yes. So, it's probably going to be a long trip for me, relatively short for you. <laughs> probably true. So, yeah, have fun doing that. Don't get Skybax killed, and I won't get the Yankee killed. Oh shit, something stuff. jumped on me. No, nothing jumped on you, because I know you're way above the tree line. Fuck you. <laughs> I, I am mean, way above When it. you can actually see, it takes a lot of doubt away from people. Know what I can see? The terrible mapping around dinosaurs in, during the rain or whenever you're like flapping towards the ocean, how it does that weird visual yeah. glitch. This is probably because, again, I said the game has not been optimized. The game, as a matter of fact, I believe there are probably several settings in your settings list that are turned off simply to make it easier for your computer to run this game. In order to successfully run this game and make it look good, you would need a monster of a computer. I'm talking about the kind of computers NASA used to launch people into space. So why is it if you sprint down, you just spread your wings out and you'll go a whole lot faster, but if you just fly down, you don't spread out your wings and all that. And because just that's kinda called glide. glide. I know. Why, why, do, why is it it doesn't glide when you're, when you're not sprinting? Because that's a feature. It allows for better control. Because when you're gliding face first down into a pool of water, you'll get knocked off your bird as soon as you hit the water. Uh, and then okay. you'll get eaten by shit. I am you don't want to dive face first into a damn saber-toothed tiger. And you don't want to just do that because you'll be dead. The glide feature is one that is designed for speed, not for... You know, do water skins slowly lose water over time? Yes, they do, because they aren't jars and they aren't canteens. They're skin. Mm. Yeah, they're like using a sheepskin condom. It's not that effective. Why'd you have to say that? I mean, I've never personally used a sheepskin condom. You know, that's what people used to use for condom. I know. That's just disturbing. Yes, it is. We are disturbing beings. Did I ever tell you the most interesting form of torture we came up with? Nope. Uh, okay, so I think maybe I did. Maybe I did and you just don't remember. So what? Uh, th this was invented by the Persians. And what the Persians used to do was they would take a boat... And then they would tie a person to the boat and um, ba basically like uh, like a just complete sprawled out spread eagle tying someone to it like the rack kind of tie. Yeah. Um, and then they would supposedly feed them lots and lots of milk and honey and get it all over the face and everything. And then what they would do is they would cut holes in another boat uh, around the rims and edges and everything yeah. so that there would be holes for the arms and legs and feet and everything to stick out. And once they did that, they tie the two boats together. And... Then they just kind of feed him milk and honey for a while more. And then the insects of the river would kind of start to notice some stuff. And, uh, well, all the milk and honey that were completely unpasteurized would give him diarrhea. And it's all in the boat, so you couldn't really 
clean yourself and you just sort of slowly be eaten alive by wasps and mosquitoes and maggots. All right. While stewing in your own shit in the hot sun <laughs> of the Mediterranean. Are, are you going somewhere with this? Uh, it's a pretty gruesome form of torture. I mean, imagine just sitting there for weeks stewing in your own disgusting juices and stuff while the sun beat down on you and you were helpless as insects fed on your face and hands and all that and then maggots would burrow into you as you were still alive screaming at the top of your lungs you know it's it's just very horrific yep i mean people have you know, phobia is about maggots burrowing into their flesh. So, yeah, it's not too pleasant. So, no, I just never realized. What? We have two female dodos. Yeah. Sure you do. I do. Uh, you know what I just now realized? What? You're not helping me unload the metal. Oh, if I need to? Yeah. You want to use it, you got to move it. This thing ain't going to cook itself, you know. Just get one stack at a time, because that's as much as I can hold. Really? Because I just picked up two. Well, you probably have more points stuck into weight. Shit ton of points stuck into weight. Yeah, and okay. then help Who me. didn't light this fire? Oh, there's no thatch left. Yeah, there. okay. No thatching. I'm just getting the metal in right now. It's going to take a while to smelt it. Hmm. Yeah, probably one of the first things we'll be able to do is um, perhaps uh, get a hold of some. Uh, oil because once we start producing oil you know what that means nope means we can have electricity or well, we have some it's no we lot. don't no we, we have no electricity why is there music playing there's a snake outside yes there is To me, Skybax. It's scaring off my mating dodos. I don't know where he went, by the way. He just disappeared. I... Oh, yes. I see him. I see where he is. Uh, he's over here pacing after some poor, unfortunate uh, parasaur. So, we're safe. Yeah. No, if he if he was a threat, he would have made himself known by now. Yeah. He was trying to get in. He was trying to get to my mating dodos. Well, maybe you shouldn't have the smallest and weakest of all the animals in, all in a tiny little room right next to the gate. As a matter of fact, that room is the only gate that has windows. Maybe you shouldn't have them in there next to the window. Maybe you should have them inside the house where you can actually keep them friggin' safe. That's maybe, so far. Maybe so. I should come over there and shoot you for not doing it. I'm probably going to move into the other one. What do you mean, move into the other one? Move them into the other tower on the bottom floor where there is no center hole. 
where it looks like you set up for a ritual circle of some kind of dark satanic bull crap. Actually, so no, that's where that. I wanted to keep our bees. Oh. Yeah, because bees can only be planted on open ground. And that's fine. Yeah. I just... Inside the house is just too small. We've got too much shit in there. Well, you know... We don't have a hangar in it yet, so we can't actually house flyers very easily. And you're uh, the one who brought the dilos and shit inside the house. I don't know why I brought the dilos in. The dilos are actually somewhat okay. They can take a couple hits before they fall over like a friggin' bowling pin. By the way, you left these dodos on mating. No, I just I turned them back on and I have two of them mating. Well, you better come get them before they finish mating. Alright, I'm coming. Because unattended Charlies will be shot. They ain't even done yet. No, they ain't done yet. Okay, so let's keep this progress bar rolling. Yep. Okay, so we got ourselves an Anki. That means yeah. we can now g gather metal and crystal and obsidian. Very yep. effective. Yep. I so noticed jars the... of water require crystal, unfortunately, though. Yes, water jars do require crystal. And we got 21 crystal in the smithy. True. Because I just had to get some crystal. Um, so, the next thing I think we should do is, because we have a stone gatherer, mm -hmm. we have a wood gatherer, we have a metal gatherer, in crystal and obsidian, and we have something that can carry around all of these dinosaurs efficiently. So... Disable and... Disable. We need obsidian. But not so much obsidian that it would be ludicrous. Is that snake still only... out here? Uh, n no, he went down the hill following after that parasaur. Okay, I'm gonna get some berries. Don't leave that door open. I'm not, I closed it. Snake may go, get, go in and get my dodos. I think we may want to try and tame us a shield. Huh? Yeah, I think we may want to try and tame a shield or find a decent level one. Because shield horns are just better versions of trikes faster and stronger and I hear get more something. Out. Well, you better get There's the hell in something out here fighting or something. Well, then get the hell inside. I am. It's also something flying. Oh, he's coming for me, I think. He's coming for get, me. Or is that you? Uh, is that no, you? that is not me. Help. Do not open the door. Actually, do open the door. It's our it's in here. Actually, I, I want to see what level this thing is. Hold on. Oh, it's only 13. I mistook it for an actual threat. Oh, kill it. Or tame it. Uh, I would if it would stand still. Well, I mean, there's no use in taming this because it's just such a low level. I mean, isn't that pretty much what, uh, what feather butt is? Not feather butt, uh, your other one. What do you mean? Isn't it the same thing as your uh, Skybax? Yes, but it's a low-level Skybax. Mine's a decent 140. Level. Yeah, I know. Yeah, mine is level 140. 140 is not actually a high level. It's just a decent level. Also, if you want berries, why aren't you taking something that's good for gathering berries? Because I don't need much. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Um... So I'm thinking the next thing we should probably start trying to get is some obsidian. And sadly, I am not flying that, um, I am not flying that, that friggin' bird all the way to the location where we get obsidian. So here's what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to hand you my pickaxe. And, um... How is it too hot in here for my egg to go? 
Because it's a heat wave. Oh, motherfucker. Oh, also, you needed a pickaxe. Here's I, a made, I already made one. Here's a pickaxe. You okay. will take the other. Take the pickaxe. So you're telling me my son of a bitch. So you're telling me my egg it's won't too hatch hot. in a heat wave. Gosh darn it! How do, how am I, how could I cool it down right now? Uh, there really is no effective way to cool it down. But what we can do is stick it in this preserving bin, and it will keep for a little while. All right. Plus, you know, even if the egg does die, no big deal. It's a dodo. <laughs> I will have my dough and me fossil latte doughs. I will shoot you again if you continue to make a big deal. Alright, where is this preserving bin? Uh, it's the two small square boxes over there. Next to the... Jesus Christ, it is hot. Next to the smithies? Yes. No, next to the forges. Yeah, that. Okay. okay, Charlie, I need you to get the hell out here because this is very hot. I know it's hot. I'm trying to get us away from here, Charlie. I need you to leave. Yeah, I need you out of the house. What? Get in front of the damn bird. Come on. No. I'm sorry. What was that? Where are we going? What am I yeah. doing? Stand in front of me. God. <laughs> Stop moving. Did I just drop you? Uh, yes, um, I am also dehydrated, so take me okay, to the water. Okay, we will, we will... You dropped me again, you son of a bitch. Stay exactly where you are. Do not I, even... I, I wasn't even touching my keyboard. Don't, don't even move. Don't, don't, don't even, even consider moving. I'm gonna punch you. Drink. Mmm. Now come with me. Hold on. Let me fill up my water skin. Okay. Pick me up. Filling up your goddamn water skin. You're, to be honest, you're probably going to need it where we're going. Seven. Okay. Do you know where we're going? Nope. Well, you use your head. I told you we needed obsidian. Oh. The volcano. Yep. Just the place to go in a heat wave. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Alex. Ironically, it will actually get cooler as we go further north. Yeah, I know. Yeah, my other house, I don't have to deal with the heat wave because I have friggin' air conditioners. But here. Well, we don't have that problem now, do we? Oh, shit. Um, emergency stand break. Okay. Brace for impact. We know you have absolutely no choice in air travel, but we thank you anyway for um, choosing Air Moretti. So I don't really have a whole bunch turned off, by the way, in my video settings. Uh, well, there are also just... And now I'm under the map. Are you literally falling? I'm in water. Son of a bitch. Okay, well, guess what? Now we're actually going to have to cheat. Just keep above water. I'm going to see if I can... No, no, I I'm on land now. I got you, out. You pop back up? Yeah, I'm not sure how I got here. But I'm here. Uh, uh where... What, where? Can you see me? No, I don't. Are like, you I, I'm at are... the red obelisk. Oh! 
Like, I'm looking at her health. How did I in... What? How? What? Dumbass Charlie making me fly all the way back to the... How did I end up here? <laughs> I don't even understand this. Look, I know Ark is doing a lot of updates right now to try mm -hmm. and fix the meshing issue. Mm -hmm. Let's just not push our luck and try not to get you meshed beneath the ground anymore. Yeah. Alright, so I I do have a almost everything turned on, but I do see where I've got like terrain shadows is turned down and um general shadows is on medium. Yeah, you see that's not something that's covered by either of um basically they haven't improved the graphics of this game enough that all those issues are fixed. You're still going to get the... Yeah, you're going to get all those problems. So you're back at the house. Uh, I'm on the island where I got water. Y you mean you're at the Red Obelisk? No, I'm where you dropped me off to get water. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I remember something about this. Yeah, so you meshed under the map, basically. Yeah. Well... The art devs aren't happy about people who are meshing under the map right now. I know. So it kind of teleported you back to this location, I guess. The last location you were technically above the ground, it would say. Um, because, you know, you were above the ground and not being carried. Yep. So, yeah, it did that. Um now, there is a slight risk of you being banned, but don't worry. Uh, I can unban you. Uh, clearly not. So, th this is what my settings are. So, I have world tile buffering on epic. I have anti-aliasing also on epic. Everything else is on hot except for general shadows and terrain shadows and view distance. Uh, motion blurs turned off, of course. Um, film grains turned off and distant ambient... Um, Oculation is okay, also turned wh off. What I am telling you here is this is not a setting you can change. I, I know. I was just telling you, you. You said that you would need supercomputer practically to get everything on, and I've almost got everything on. No, I no, could no. run what with I mean everything is, on. You would need a supercomputer to get everything on that can be. Your computer right now can run all of those things very easily. What I'm saying is. In order to repair this whole outline of your wings on the uh, on the far distance, and what happens when it's foggy and rainy at the same time on the island, but mm -hmm. all that crap, mm -hmm. you would need a supercomputer to handle that. It actually wouldn't fix a single thing. It's actually all in coding and in textures. I know. And the problem is the coding and textures for that crap is not really well done. Just drop me, I'm already almost dead. If you're already almost dead, prepare to get even more dead. I guess I should eat something. Yeah, probably. If you have food. Got a shit ton of berries. Have food, we'll eat it. And raw meat, I got lots of raw meat. Don't eat the raw meat. I can't eat it while I can't eat anything while you're carrying me. Good. Lots of crystal here. Yep. Mine some of the obsidian and some of the crystal. Which Dump one's the, the obsidian? The obsidian are the big black rocks. Okay, that's metal. Charlie. Yep. Charlie. Hold on. Just getting a little bit of crystal. Come over here. I'll show you what obsidian looks like. The black rocks, like this, right? No. This. Charlie. I'm coming this. Okay. Yeah, they look like glass. And don't okay. touch the red, right? Yeah, don't, don't touch the fire. 
Um, okay, that should be good. Charlie, that, that's good. I swing my pig Sky back, back and forth up. Charlie, here. stop. Yeah. Stop. Okay. When I say that enough, you don't harvest anymore. And here's why. It's kind of like saving me up now, is it? <laughs> stop moving! I barely moved. Yeah, you barely moved, and then that, yeah, see? Skybacks can't carry us now. Alright, let me drop some shit. Drop a stack. Let's see. I could drop all the stone for sure. You Try that. Dropping. You weren't dropping the stone before? Oh, I hadn't had time. I feel like you just touched me in the lava, and now I'm on fire. I did, and we are just barely able to move. I'm still dropping stuff, so. Let me drop some human feces that I somehow picked up. I should have ate those berries. It won't matter. I am almost dead. I also have a broken bone now. Am I just gonna die here in a second? Are you starving to death? I'm not starving or, or thirsty. I do have the hunger with the arrows pointing up thing, the meat with the arrows pointing up. Then so, uh, just leave it. I'm not going to drop you again until we get back to the house, and that's all that's important. I know, and, and that's fine. But what what I was, I'm asking that because I've got broken bones, and I'm, I was cold, and now I'm hot. Though. And now I'm not. Now I'm fine. hoping I can get all the way back to the house before I need it for stamina. Or at least to the other side of the swamp, so most of the danger will be behind me. Alright, well, whenever we get back, it's going to be time to wrap up. Yes, I know it's going to be time to wrap up, Chuck. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to get to the other swamp. I need to stop here. That hurt so much. Do you got any berries? No, Charlie, I don't have any berries. There ain't none here either. No, there aren't. <sighs> At this point, I really don't care if you do die within the next couple landings because we're almost home I'm not I don't even know why I'm looking for berries I don't need food there's an alpha to our right yes Charlie there's an alpha to our right now I'm, I think I need to explain something to you here just yes. because a creature has an orangey glow around it does not mean it's inherently an alpha oh yeah you see, if an animal has a whole bunch of its kind standing around it, sometimes it gains that orangey glow. Like uh -huh. the allosaurs you keep spotting and saying, those are alphas. They aren't. They're at, one of them is just the pack lead. That's all they are. One of them's a pack leader. The others are pack followers. So what if you kill a pack leader? If you kill the pack leader, a new pack leader will be formed from one of the least suck followers. Right away or over time? Over a little bit, like a minute or two. Okay. Where do I put all this? You, uh, you would need to put that in the smithy, because that's where it's used. Alright. We still didn't even light any of the forges. So that's gonna suck. I'll probably light him once we stop recording. I got a rare mushroom. Yeah, you got a rare mushroom. That's something you can get from mining um, crystal. And now I ate it. And that was blind. not a good idea. No, I am blind. Okay, well, I think this is an excellent time to stop the recording. Alright, let me go get the dodos and move them. Somewhere safer. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to see if I can find the setting that makes it where our base can't be attacked if no one's online. 
which you know really won't do any good because I'm usually online. Yeah, I know. Fucking bird. Did you just pick up both of those dodos before I could get one of them finished? You know, this is the difference between intelligent. Well, it's the difference between having a broken leg and not. Would you like me to get the Hydra out? No, I can do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, yeah. N wait, what? Fuck. Charlie, Charlie, don't, don't, don't be arbitrarily killing yourself. Seriously. Will my broken bone ever go away? Oh yeah, it'll heal. Oh. Over time. Okay. Well, until then, hope y'all have enjoyed this. I'm just gonna pass out on this bed. No, don't pass out on the bed. Why? Just, just say goodbye. Bye. Bye.